Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder, and here's a message. In this video, we'll be using a special macro for Death Knights to one-shot people in-world. And this is a special type of one-shot macro, which, unlike most, requires no special gear. It is more of a form of knockback. So at the start of Shadowlands, Blizzard changed the way casting spells while mounted worked. For some reason, whether by glitch or by design, it is now possible to cast a spell with a cast time while mounted. You do get dismounted in the process, but this change makes all kinds of devious and sneaky things possible. But before we go down that amazing rabbit hole of exploit discovery, the simple change to the game caused, a word from my sponsor, myself, or rather my patron, where I publish tricks too hot for YouTube on a regular basis. Now, when I found out that Blizzard had altered things so that you could cast spells with a cast time while in flight, I wondered whether a Death Knight could use Death Grip to pull enemy players into the air and then to their deaths from full damage. This kind of works, does an impressive amount of full damage, but the issue is that Death Grip has an absolute maximum range of 40 yards. 40 yards isn't enough to kill a player at full health, and as we'll see, Players can also mitigate full damage in various ways. To extend that full damage, it occurred to me that you could potentially death grip a player off a tall building into mid-air, which would then cause enough full damage to kill them. However, there aren't really that many tall buildings where max level players spend a lot of time. If only, I thought, there was something in game. A tower, perhaps where players would have to go frequently to perform essential gear progression, which was exposed to the elements, and where I could death grip individuals to their doom. Blizzard must have listened to this pathetic dream, for they created such a tower in Catalyst Gardens in Xerath Mortis. This building seems to have been almost designed to my exact specifications for murdering people unfairly. Now, experimenting with my Death Knight, I hit a major snag early on. You see, it turns out there are actually rather a lot of ways to avoid full damage, as I quickly discovered. And I do mean a lot. In addition to traditional player spells like Slow Fall and Levitate, any player can use a Goblin Glider. The Night Fae have a specific conduit which mitigates full damage. In fact, I use this myself to mitigate full damage when dismounted after using Death Grip. Then there's engineering items, toys, and then there's a trick which isn't strictly supposed to mitigate full damage but does, which is using any ability such as Blink or Heroic Leap near the ground. Finally, of course, there's the Demon Hunter class, which has inbuilt wings. There are just so many ways to negate gravity that it is a wonder anyone dies from full damage in the open world at all. I was close to abandoning the project at this point, but then it occurred to me that if I could simultaneously immobilize the enemy player and grip them into dead space, they would be unable to use any ability to eliminate full damage. Now, my go-to immobilization tool for the Death Knight is Asphyxiate, which is one of the Death Knight's most powerful signature abilities. However, this works in precisely the opposite way that I'd hoped. Instead of immobilizing the players they fall to their doom, it actually just comically suspends them in mid-air. The player only falls after the immobilization effect ends, so effectively you are just giving your victim four seconds extra to work out how to get out of the situation. It turns out that the best ability to use in this situation is actually the PvP talent Strangulate. Strangulate is actually a silence. It stops spellcasting. It is not effective against all types of full damage mitigation. But spellcasters do tend to over-rely on magical methods to counter gravity, as we'll see. And in that case, the strangulation-death grip combination is fatal. I was surprised how high the strike rate is using this one-shot method when you remove spell-based effects from the equation. I was killing players well over 60% of the time, 
without even making any adjustments for class. For example, a warrior who knows what they are doing simply cannot be killed this way, so you can increase your kill percentage significantly by simply avoiding them and other obvious classes like demon hunters altogether. So the macro which seems to work best is simply this astonishingly simple macro slash cast death grip slash cast strangulate. This seems to be the most powerful strategy in the game when it comes to killing other players with full damage. Other methods are generally either too easy to escape or require too much setup to be practical, though the whole thing is a little subjective. There's not a lot of reason to do any of this except it is enormous fun. Tell me if you enjoy this type of content or not. For me this sort of thing has always been far more entertaining than whatever nonsense Blizzard wants us to be doing, but I'm incredibly weird, so let me know what you think.